I'm back to Bob. Yeah. I was just going to say why only the girls keep coming. And then I saw Venkat. <laughs> now we have the balance. Okay. Wonderful. Welcome everyone to day morning, five man. of morning. Story Spark session. I hope you are enjoying the series. So let's get right into today is going to be something called impromptu storytelling. So I'm going to explain what it is. I'll give you an example of what it is and then we'll go around the room. So basically we are going to use the AI tool called UT and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to make up a story on the fly. So the tool will give us certain prompts and uh, on the screen and we need to make a story. We just need to say something. We need to proceed in a way that we are building up a story by using all the words that show on the screen. and this is how and we need to have a logical opening and logical ending so i'll share my screen i'll uh, also let the instruction video play then i will do it myself and then we'll go around the room so let's start the video instruction you see if i'm sharing the sound Impromptu speaking drills are a fun way of improving your public speaking skills without the pressure of an audience Think of these as Wordle, but for communication skills. I'm going to play spin a yarn that helps me with my lateral thinking, give myself a level of hard, and start playing. My favorite food is chicken tikka masala. I grew up in India, and I am hooked to that. This food is kind of like my rock. When I'm sad, when I'm upset, when I feel like I need to go to the temple or the church, I just eat chicken tikka masala, and my skinny self feels happy and positive. Now, I'm not going to say the next few words. The system won't detect it. The idea is, as we are speaking, far too often we get distracted or somebody looks at their phone or asks us a curveball question. Can we just incorporate that into our story? For instance, when the sun is bright outside, I continue to eat chicken tikka masala, and I feel like a young child on a swing. You get the gist of it. I'm going to complete the game, and I get a quick score. Try playing Spinayan every day, and you will see yourself become funnier and more confident in impromptu situations. Okay, so that's the game. I put it as one and a half minute for me and I would be getting a prompt every six seconds. So let me uh, do it myself and then we'll go around the room. If I could talk to anyone dead or alive, that's a great question. Like who should I talk to? Because there's always a brilliance to find out do I want to talk to a brilliant person or do you want do I want to talk to a person who is being a great donor uh, all around and it, it's always a scallop I don't know what exactly mean but it's a really a great question because I've never thought about it talking to dead or talking to alive I think I would rather talk to somebody who's married because sometimes their marriages become dead and you want to make sure that they are alive there's a lot of glass talk, there's a lot, a lot of glass ceiling that happens and that allows innocent people to get trapped. So I hope that I would be able to break the glass and in that process, even if there's no caption, I would be able to get a frame of mind and, and make sure that I'm sitting there enjoying, enjoying the talk on a furniture, eating an apple pie and sharing some great words. So, it could be with the dad of myself or my or somebody else but yeah i think if i have to talk to someone between dead or alive i would rather communicate with someone who's alive and not somebody who's dead or maybe a column columnist who would you talk to don't make sure you don't talk to a crook okay so you see that i think i, I missed a couple of them okay brilliant i said brilliant so all right so everybody get the point how we're gonna do uh, let's start again so alkaji are you here you want to yes i'm here my net much? is my network is going up and down up and down. so i okay, put my network, yeah so do you want to try now to talk to somebody in my in dead or alive no, no no so you will see a topic on the screen and okay. you will start telling a random story and you okay. will see certain words you need to incorporate that word while you are speaking on the fly it's more like an impromptu exercise and see how it okay goes. i'm ready i will start now
I think it's giving the same one, so let me just refresh it. Okay. One minute thirty seconds and it starts now. Yeah, so right now I'm reading a book which is called Vedanta Treatise, is written by Partha Sarthi, and it is a book of action, taking action for your own life, taking responsibility for your own life, owning up your mistakes, learning from your mistakes, and what can I do to I don't repeat this mistake again? So that would be my book to go, and it teaches us how we can be friendly with people, how we can contribute to life. And what are the things which help us to become happier people? Contribution, helping others, being happy, making others happy is one of the ways the book has suggested. And how we can let go, how we can forgive others is one of the ways. And, and it's about contentment. They say, the book says that, are you rigid or are you flexible in a particular situation? And that's also my message always that be flexible in any situation. And if you want to achieve something in your life, then you've got to be perseverant, you've got to be purposeful, patient, and 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 one more thing, perseverant, yeah. So these are the things I'm learning from this book, and I would highly recommend it to people. It is not about teaching anybody, it is about learning for yourself, about taking ownership for your own life and being that person that you would love to be. Thank you. Okay, I think I should have explained it better. So you will see the words on the screen you need to incorporate so these were the 14 words i think you didn't get that point oh okay you want to try once again i think we can do one more try if you want to so, so i have to look at the words and speak huh? yeah that is why it is it is challenging okay okay yeah 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 trying to put your thoughts but also trying to use the words which is there right so i'll i'll give you because you joined first i'll give you one more chance, uh, but I think Venkat and Rajesh will also understand that. Okay, so let's try once again. If I were an animal, I would be. Use the word communication somewhere. So only one word I have to use. Now you keep keep speaking and add those words in between. Okay, 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 okay. So if I were an animal, I would be, I would be an elephant, because the elephant can communicate by not communicating, by being quiet, by the by the way his body moves, by the way the roundness of his body he shows is so vulnerable. I would. <laughs> I like the way the 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 tail of the elephant keeps on swinging. And I would make a wool yarn out of his tail and then make it into a kind of a sweater for somebody. I would I would go in the window and I would stand there and I would call out to people, make an island of people around me and make make all the people around me go into it like a trail or like a rain. And I would give the banana to the elephant to eat. And the wind would be there and it would be swirling the tail of the animal and in the touching my body. <laughs> Oh my God! These all things are helping me to have a positive mirror neurons in my in my head. And whenever I look at the elephant, I feel very happy because the the elephant is a very happy and a very content and a very flexible animal. Thank you so much. Okay, I think I you you use few words which you didn't catch like neuron and banana, but good attempt. Awesome. So next, let's now next go to Venkat. Venkat, are you ready? Yes, yes, Haritos. Awesome. So you know the drill. Try to bring a story. It's a challenging exercise, so it's not easy, I know. But you have to see the question and proceed in a logical way, but also try to be flexible with using the words that is coming on the screen. Okay, let's start. What advice would you give you 16-year-old self? Um, I uh, when I was sixteen, I 
I was not in the crown. Um, I faced a lot of things. Now I would say uh, I would evaluate everything and uh, next people uh, 16 years are in nest and they are not thinking uh, they are going to be an entrepreneurship in the uh, in future they are pre- praying for getting marks in, at the age 16 uh, they stretch to uh, think to wake up at early morning 6 o'clock but they didn't uh, wake up so i also the one of the you yeah, somehow it's not taking what you're saying but i can see you've used quite a few words <laughs> but okay go on yes. and you can yes is i couldn't get a, a story <laughs> with these words no problem at all okay i think this is great one uh, you could have talked about your own 16 year self and say okay don't try to think that you'll become a crown prince you will evolve a like, lot of ideas were coming but yeah when you are speaking the idea should come <laughs> okay uh, let's start with rajesh next rajesh are you ready yes i'll try all right awesome let's go ahead Oh. Unmute yourself, Rajesh. Hmm. Yes. Okay. When you were a child, what would uh, what did you want to be uh, when you grew up? Okay. Words are too short. Actually, I'm not finding them clearly. Oh. Okay. I'm not sure if it is. Mm, right i'm getting little bit okay so uh, <clears throat> when i was a child i always wanted to uh, be there as a, a politician so i whenever there was an elections i always uh, thought of uh, talking a lot uh, about that with people especially with my dad and uh, i used to watch uh, tv and on tv like uh, uh, whatever the uh, things are work are coming on there i wanted to uh, uh, round the clock i wanted to watch um, the news uh, and in case my favorite uh, politician he is not winning i used to cry and uh, in fact uh, with strangers also i wanted to talk about politics <laughs> and <laughs> okay yeah Thank you. I, I think there is some problem with this. I think it's not picking up because of my microphone. I think you said at least four words. Uh, I saw you said uh, oh, the election. I uh, yes. You said people. You said cry. Mm-hmm. But anyway, good attempt. Okay, Pawan is also here. Pawan, do you want to try this one? I think it's from Too Good Wonder. not able to no problem at all yes it is an impromptu storytelling where you will get a question and then on the fly you need to make up a story and then you will get the words which you need to use uh, so no problem at all uh, i am going to try once again to see if it is working properly so let me just try and then we'll wrap it up what advice would you give your 16 year year old self it is a brilliant question because life is not an easy sell it's like a robot where you have to keep on trying new things you will get into fight with yourself and with others and it's a beautiful journey sometimes you have to be soft but sometimes you need to have a hammer you need to put your point across and that's when you get the ticket to the success it's not easy to get success but this is where we need to you need to take a rest and then also go for it always seeking for new things you cannot be a very calculator person always trying to calculate you will have to be impromptu because things will come but you also need to be stretching yourself like a wool and string 
and life is all about practice it's not only theory so you need to be practical and i don't know what the whole is all about but we make sure that you are working towards and one of the best thing you can do is think about entrepreneurship when you are growing up because this will give you a lot of opportunity whether you are a farmer whether you are a student whether you are a working professional is always a twig in the hand and i don't know what i'm saying but yeah make sure that you are not just playing with the dolls be in the real world and keep trying and what is this i still i don't know but yeah so i guess because my microphone is very close and it is taking my eyes it was able to pick lot of things but i i don't know what this i still twig ho so yeah what is that i don't know i can't recover it anyway so i hope you get the point uh, you can always use this usually for challenging yourself with coming up impromptu so a lot of people who struggle with impromptu can use this because this will challenge you where you are trying to make a point but also trying to incorporate something on the fly so it's a brilliant exercise try it and that was day 5 of impromptu storytelling it is not only for beginners it is for everyone so you have different levels so if you see here it's we're just going medium there's hard and there's monster level and it gives you really tough words so it's it's for different levels you can choose uh, from 30 second to 3 minute go from easy to monster level uh, so it's it's based on how much you are comfortable so thank you so much everyone that was day 5 of story spark session i'll see you tomorrow with day number 6 with a different challenge take care have a great day and as i say every time keep learning keep growing and keep going out of your comfort zone see you tomorrow thank you thank you thank you